So, I was rum rummaging through YouTube uh, before watching my own stuff for review, which I normally do before uploading stuff, and I came across a channel that, granted was a celebrity, but I didn't immediately sub. I know, blasphemy, right? Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Now, the reason I bring this up is because what what I'm going to finish up with that description is that I did check out the channel. It was Jeanette McCurdy, a uh, actress who played Sam Puckett in iCarly and um, current podcaster for... I don't even know how long she's been doing it. But anyway, I digress. I checked out the channel and watched one of her vlogs. She was responding to people, like a lot of assumptions about her, and I was like, that's a very bold thing to do. It piqued my interest on what she had to say, the f due to the fact that she was just being upfront and clear about who she was. And it was very inspiring to me. That video alone did earn my subscription, but I was more curious about what else she made. And a lot of it was kind of personal life stuff, kind of like what I do. And it's something that I really like watching from other people when they're like showing off their real life activities. Like for me, you guys have seen me make uh, vlogs where I'm like hanging out with um, Aaron and Christian at, uh, what was it, Deer Creek, I believe? It was a while ago, um, and re more recently when I was hanging out with Christian and Amber. just It was in this complex, it was just at the pool that we have here. Regardless, showing IRL activity, I feel like just helps seeing others' activities IRL, helps me kind of bond into this kind of stuff, and it makes me feel, in a sense, complete on this front, I guess? I don't know. Nonetheless, from what I saw on the channel, it definitely or Let's put it this way. I did not know much about Jeanette McCurdy I, before I watched that. I was like, okay, well, she makes podcasts. She connects with others. It might just be a job that she enjoys doing. And she used to be an actress, even though she didn't really want that at all. But yet, after watching that channel... I definitely have a newfound respect for her, <laughs> and it's kind of how I approach any channel. I've been using Jeanette's channel for a few minutes as an example on this, so let me transition over to a different one, just to give another example of what I'm talking about. I support channels in a sense where if they have if I'm able to find a strong connection between the channel and myself, in some sense, whether it's the humor, IRL relating, or something like along the lines of even like, just questions and agreements on certain topics, immediate subscription for me, if I can feel that connection. Another good channel, in my opinion, that has this kind of impact on me would be the channel DGR. I found DGR um, about a year ago, I believe, and it is a gaming channel like mine, except his very specifically is well known for the video for doing videos on the video games Super Mario Maker and Super Mario Maker Two. At a point, he was very well. He was founded by me while he was doing Super Mario Odyssey challenges. Is it possible challenges? It was while I was roaming the internet for is it possible challenges because those piqued my interest big time because I do like a challenge on that degree. But I digress. I watched and I was like, okay. And what really got me connected to his channel, Dave, being his name. Um, what got me connected to DGR's channel was more the fact of it, his humor and how Dave is a married man. For those who don't know about this channel, he is a married man, and one thing that really intrigued me, that really 
got me interested and connected to his channel is the fact that he involves his kids in his videos at times. I believe he has two children, both girls. I might be wrong, but I think that's what it is. And how many times I've seen him involve his children and his wife, Amanda, I honestly, I applaud those efforts. He, unlike me, does avoid swearing, which I don't blame him. He does have kids around, and I think for me, if I were to ever have kids, I wouldn't swear either. I'd try to avoid it as much as possible. In fact, you guys probably notice that I don't do it very frequently anyway. But, I digress. Um, I think that there are several aspects that kind of piqued my support for his channel. The involvement of his family... In the same sense that I involve Christian, Amber, and Aaron, because honestly, in a way, I actually do consider them family. By the definition of family, it's not those who are genetic, but those who are always there for you when it's needed. And those three always are. And that's something that I very, I do love about Dave. How... Well, how much he does do that. And it's not even just his family. His viewers get the same care from him. That's really what caught my attention on his channel. Is the fact that he involves his viewers as much as he can. To the degree where he actually does, he's actually over on Twitch as well. I go over there every now and then, and because of financial reasons, unfortunately, I can't, like, gift anything, which makes me feel bad, but at the same time, I'm happy to be there to support someone who's such a family man, and that is another big thing that kind of pushes the idea of what I mean when I support channels who are more real. There are many channels out there on this platform Twitch, anywhere, they're super fake. Like, they're just faking it. That's actually, when I was watching the original iCarly like, back in the day, I could tell Jeanette McCurdy was faking it. You can kind of get, I could kind of get that feel from her. In an actor and an actress, in an actor or actress, there's always that one difference that you can, that's always slightly noticeable. When you watch something, it kind of tells you this is something they don't want to be doing, or this is something they're really enjoying. Compare Jeanette McCurdy to... Hell, now that I think about it, you can pick any of the actors or actresses from the TV series Victorious. Let's go with Victoria Justice. If you compare the two of them, you can tell immediately that the one of the two, the one who wanted to be there for their show was definitely Victoria. You guys can obviously tell I used to watch Nickelodeon a lot. So, sue me. Well, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> but, I guess, back to the topic originally talked about, support, it's not... It's not even just a platform thing. It pushes people to do things, but whenever I've noticed, support goes both ways on its impact. When one doesn't support the other, I guess you could say like the phrase karma is a bitch is kind of implemented big time when it comes to that particular phrase. Don't support someone, and if you're wanting support back, the likelihood of you getting that support is less than when you do support someone. That's something I've noticed. I guess a good example of this is that, for my channel specifically, Christian and I haven't always got along. There have been points where we've argued to the point where we've kind of just not talked to each other. At a point, because of this, I think it was just for the sake of distance and I don't blame him for it at all, is that Christian actually did unsub from my channel for a bit because of the fact that he was just frustrated at me. I was frustrated with him too, and it kind of went both ways, but I didn't unsub from his channel just because what, why? I support the work because I look at it, even though I think mine's a passion, 
he has always looked at his as an inevitable job, hopefully. He wants to make that goal, so I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to mess with that. I will keep my subscription. I won't watch his content, but I will keep his the subscription to help push that. And, I mean, he's at... He's just now after... Like, this is months after that argument, and everything's blown over. He's resubbed to my channel, and he's been helping me out, which... Much appreciation to him for that. And I've been... Ever since that kind of faded away, I'm consistently watching his content. In fact, my phone right now, I'm not going to show it just so you guys can go check it out yourself, is running like his entire channel. I went onto his channel, clicked the the most recent upload on the videos playlist, and I'm literally letting it play video back to back to back to back to back to back. I don't have it... Yeah, you guys can't hear the sound because I have it on mute, but I have already seen every single one of these videos and liked all of them since I started subbing to his channel. There are still some I have to check out from before that, but that kind of support i found is a very big deal. Support in general, when it comes to people who take things like how I take this and how Christian takes his channel, very seriously. Because of that, removing that support will bring down that confidence. And it's not that's not something I would wish upon anybody who strives to do their best to push to do the things that they want to do as a career. And if not a career, at least a passion. But these are my thoughts on the matter of um, support. What's your guys' opinion on the fact? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out anything else that I've talked about prior to this? Whether it's a discussion or rant like this video, or a video where I talk about myself and some, some aspect about me, whether it's my past or something about me personally, personality-wise, click the links on the side of my head to check one or the other. If you are intrigued in the idea of the channel, where I do videos like these, um, or gaming content, once of both, one of each daily, please definitely consider checking out the channel. You'll see a link under my face, or at least nicked or something, the circular link thing, or you'll see a link in the description below. If you already are subbed to the channel and you want to support it more, uh, consider checking out my Patreon as well. Uh, once again, Huge shout out to the three channels that I brought up in this video because they helped support, uh, they helped me put together what to say, um, for the channel. They didn't do them themselves, but the fact that they do what they do did. Anyway, if you want to check those channels out, I'll have a link to each individual one in the description below. However, once again, I'm gonna head off. Thank you guys one last time for watching this video. And I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.